Welcome to my channel Living Linux. I have installed Pop OS 22.04 on my Starlight Mark III from Starlight. And I can show you a little bit more information about it. So it has 8 gigs of memory, it comes with the Intel Pentium Silver N5000 CPU, and it has integrated Intel graphics. And as you can see, I'm running Pop OS 22.04, and we're on the X11 windowing system. So, two years ago, I tested Pop OS 20.04. And at the time, I was also able to enable hardware video acceleration in Chrome. But it seems that Google has changed things with hardware video acceleration in Chrome. And yeah, it seems it's still possible to enable it. But two years ago, it was just a matter of changing one flag and then it was activated. And now you have to do some other stuff. So unfortunately, uh, it's, yeah, the way to enable it has changed through the years. Um, so in this video, I'm going to explain how to enable hardware video acceleration in Firefox. And it seems that in Firefox, you can still do it in the same way. It's, yeah, a couple of things that you have to do it's not that complicated but it's yeah a bit more work than just changing one flag but at least it has been more consistent through the years so here we have a website where they explain how to enable hardware video acceleration in Firefox uh, running uh, in Ubuntu, but since Pop OS is based on Ubuntu, then the instructions are the same. And I will also leave a link to this website in the description of this video. So you do um, have to know if you're using, let's just say, an integrated graphics tip from Intel, or perhaps you have like one of the new graphics cards from Intel, uh, or that you have something from Nvidia, or if you have something from AMD, because uh, depending on the manufacturer, uh, it's a bit different. So what you can do is install VA info and just for the sake of this demo I will run this command again but it's already installed but then at least you know uh, what you have to do and here it says that it's already installed so that's not a problem and then with VA info um, yeah, you can see that in my case, I'm running the integrated graphics from Intel. And here you can see that it has support for hardware video acceleration for MPEG-2, H.264, JPEG, uh, VP8, HEVC, I think that's H.265, and VP9. And on this side, when it says ENC, then it means that uh, hardware video acceleration for encoding is also supported. So now when we go back to the instructions, um, yeah, like I said, when something is already installed, it doesn't hurt to run the command again. So here you can see it's already installed. So we can move on. And 
now we get to the part where you actually have to do some things in Firefox. So you can go to about config. You get a warning, uh, just accept the risk. And then you have to make some changes. For instance, you have to enable video acceleration API. So I already set it to true. With this icon, you can toggle. So here you can see it's false, but yeah, in our case, we want to have it enabled. This one has to be set to false. And this one also needs to be false. And this one needs to be set to true. And here they say that if you experience page crashes, then you can try to change the sandbox content level. Well, so far I haven't experienced any crashes, so I didn't change it and then it's by default on four. Well, then you're still not done because you have to make some changes to your profile. So I already made those changes. So those are the lines. So it's about the libva driver name, in my case, IHD for Intel. And then you need to disable the RDD sandbox, apparently. And since we're running X11, then you have to uh, put in this line. These lines below, uh, I didn't add them, or at least not consciously but they're not part of this change. And once that has been done, then you need to log out. And yeah, here they say that if you're using X11, use this. When you're using Wayland, then you have to use this one. So yeah, after that you log out and log in again, but I already made those changes, so I'm not going to log out and log in again. And yeah, they also say that you can install some tools to have a simple monitor for the graphics chip. Well, I also already installed it, so Oops. So when it's using the hardware video uh, encoder or decoder, then you should see a higher percentage than 0%. And yeah, one other thing is that um, Nowadays, most uh, hardware, they will support H.264 and VP9. But Google is making a shift to AV1. And yeah, when you don't have uh, hardware support for AV1, then you have to disable that. Because otherwise you're still um, fall back to software. Uh, decoding. So that's what I did in my case because I don't have like the latest graphics chips. So I set that one to false. And yeah, once you have done this, then you can open a YouTube video. In my case, I was able to play a YouTube video 
and select the 4K stream and it still played without a problem. Um, unfortunately, with the screen recorder, uh, yeah, I can't show you that because uh, that will interfere with the uh, decoding of the YouTube stream. So, um, yeah, when you notice that your machine is um, using a lot of power to play YouTube videos, um, then you can go through this procedure and see if your machine will stay cooler. And um, when, especially with a laptop, it also means that you're consuming less power, so you can keep running uh, longer without um, having to be connected to a charger. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.